Hey, how you doing everybody? Uh, today I'm going to do the finishing uh, touches on this 69 Li that, I, that um, I was building here. So the other day what I did was I um, took the wheels off, cleaned up the hubs, I cleaned up the rims, and I painted them. And um, I found another tire that was on a rim because uh, my brother even noticed that the uh, knobby tire had a big uh, a big cut in it on a video he was watching so I knew the tire was pretty much shot anyway but whoever buys this is going to either have to change the tires to knobbies or whatever kind of tires they want because these are sulky tires but you can even throw chains on there I've done that before and that works so so it came out pretty good so far. I pay, I just painted the inner part of the hood black. Um, you know, when I was doing the uh, restoration, you know, sanding everything down and whatnot. Um, the air filter housing, you know, this cover here. This is off my uh, L8. I have two others. I'm going to have to uh, sand them down and paint them. So I'm probably going to have to paint them orange. I know the rims are supposed to be white on this year, but I just chose to use black. It was easier to do that way. Um, also this morning I went and I picked up the muffler, a brand new muffler for it, and I went to uh, Tractor Supply and bought it. These fit, you know, from the 1930s L's when they first started building these. To, I think I believe 1975 or 1976 these fit it has to fit a um, one inch exhaust pipe so um, tractor supply stocks these and it's an M-111 if you ever need to know the number and they're like nine bucks I paid for them so the starter straps I think I mentioned them on another video. I bought these from uh, this red one here. I bought two of them. One's going to go on this uh, Li here for when I sell it. And what I noticed with this was when I looked it up, I, I bought these uh, straps through GT Gravely Tractor Parts, which are good. They have a lot of selection of parts. You can buy just about anything for these tractors. But this other black one here I bought years ago. I bought a couple of them. And I got them from the Gravely dealer. Now, this one seems to be... The black one here seems to be like six inches longer than the one I bought. But they do have two different uh, sizes that you could buy. This one was um, listed as the original. And I'm having a hard time to remember how long the original one was. But... I suggest buying the longer one, but if your Gravely is, uh, you know, well-tuned, it's no problem starting it up with this shorter one here. I had no problems with it. The winter, when it's cold out, that would be a different story. I don't know, but I prefer the longer one. Um, and that's about it. We're going to change the muffler out. This muffler that's on here right now is only my test muffler. So, I originally cut the old one off, and I just screwed this one on. It had to be like last fall. But I did spray a little uh, blaster around it. It should come right off with the big channel lock pliers, and we're going to see right now if it does or not. I think I left the camera light on, or I don't know what's going on. hope the video comes out all right. Okay, so we're going to take our big channel locks here. We'll see if we can unscrew this without any problems. Wow. I'm always worried about breaking the exhaust manifold because then you're screwed if you break that. But that was pretty tight on there. I'm going to take and I'm going to spray some uh, 
BB blaster on the threads. I don't care what you do, they get it gets so hot that even if you put anti seize on on there, it might help it to get it off again. But I usually just cut them off. It's easier to just cut them off when they go bad. So we'll take a little blaster here and we'll just spray it. Then after this we'll give it a start. See how she starts. It's been starting up okay. I mean, no, I haven't had any problems starting the tractor up. What I do is I snug these up real good with the channel locks, and then after I run it a couple of times, I just make sure that it's still tight. I like to stand on the other side, but I don't want to get in the way of the camera. hard for me to work like this with so what I'm going to do is I'll probably keep this for the rest of the uh, summer here and I'll cut the little field with it make sure it's okay and I don't know whether I'm going to sell it with the um, the sickle attachment or I have the snow blower, the snow cannon, which the guy next door to me here that rents the garage next door to me had to have something welded on his uh, trailer. And I met the guy, the welder, and I took his card and underneath the uh, snow can and I guess from sitting so long it rotted out but I did a half ass job with uh, screwing a piece of uh, sheet metal uh, under it but I would like to have him fix it right so I might have him, him come over and uh, weld the plate on there for me um, but it's the middle of August now so maybe I'll just sell it with the uh, snow cannon I'm not going to be plowing or anything like that anymore. So I only have the one plow that uh, I'll be putting on the uh, L8. And I'm just going to plow the yard here if I'm around. Because I already told the landlord with all the accounts I'm not I'm not going out anymore. It hasn't snowed in three years. I wasted thousands of dollars keeping the trucks insured. The one truck insured with the trailer. So... It's just going to have to be in yard plowing only. Alright, I'm not going too crazy with that. Alright, I'll set up the camera on the other side so we're going to try to start this thing off, see how good it starts. Okay, so I dropped the uh, starter strap around I choked it I put it like half throttle I usually put when I'm using the choke once it's warmed up you can just start it up without the choke and I just like just about break the idle when I start it because this has no governor on it and let's see what happens <laughs>
I might just let that uh, paint or whatever they use on there, cosmoline and paint, burn off there for a little while. I think I'm going to, uh, it's been about 20 years, I forgot to turn the gas on. So, um, I think that I'm going to uh, redo this mower deck. I haven't painted it, cleaned it up and painted it in about 20 years. So, I'm just going to paint this like a uh, dark rust-oleum. The darkest red I could find. Because this, this uh, mower deck I usually keep on my dad's tractor. So. Um, okay. So that's going to be it for today. And let's see. Did I leave the gas off? Yeah, I did. I left the gas off. So. Yeah, these things happen sometimes. Uh, most of the time when you're filming, this happens. But. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.